Hey guys, it's Jake Bushy, agronomist here. We're out in Sturgis, Michigan. Uh, we're just wanting to give you a little update with uh, spring conditions and now kind of summer conditions as we're getting into things. I'm here with Hunter Wilson with Soil Analytics. How's it going? It's going great. It's a beautiful day out here. I'm, I'm excited. Everything's looking great. It's truly blessed with the season that we've had so far. Yeah, we've had a little bit of a turbulent season, which I feel like no spring isn't. Um, but in Michigan, we've been kind of all over the board, right? So when did we plant this field? We planted this on May 2nd. And for the viewers, just so you know, it, we are taking this video on June 7th. So a little over a month. Yeah, yeah, and it looks great. We're sitting at about that B8 stage yep. right now. And uh, when did you finish planting everything else on the farm? Yeah, about last week. So <laughs> yeah, we, we had a drawn out season like a lot of other guys have. And we just are starting to think about side dressing or just starting to get side dressing done. Uh, started earlier this week. But the one thing that is pretty cool about this field is we have not side dressed yet, which typically I'd be a little sick to my stomach thinking that we have V8 corn and we haven't side dressed yet. We like to start around that B3-ish stage. But as you guys can see, this corn is beautiful with no side dress done yet. Yeah, yeah, very little nitrogen that we put out um from what you were telling me we got we did a, you did a spring application two ton of chicken manure yep. um incorporated yep. and then uh about you know five gallons of nitrogen down with the planter yep. and then um some other goodies right tell yep. us about that yep so we had two gallons of total fos in with that five gallons of nitrogen along with a half gallon of carbon rx and a quart of microvac that yep. was in our two by two and then our inferro we had a quart of zinc a pint of Sweet Success, and then our Bunch of Bugs BioVate Biological Product. Right, yeah. I mean, you know, overall, um, not a very excessive, you know, program or big program at all. Really balanced is kind of the way yeah. that I would look at it. Um, and economical too, right? That's that's what we want to kind of look at. We don't need to we don't need to break the piggy bank no. trying to um, go out fertility. No. And that's what I wanted to kind of bring you guys here today to see um, is is you know we're looking at a it kind of maybe a little bit more of an unconventional program, right? Um, we're doing a little bit of manure. We're incorporating that chicken chicken litter, um, and then a, just a really you know basic, um, you know low volume two by two program that you had some infurro um, and just the right nutrients. And that's and that's the thing kind of what we got going on with concept. Um, you know we're here here to help you guys. Uh, obviously we have a lot of different products you know for a lot of different applications. And, um, but we want to help you think outside of the box as well and have a very balanced program. And that might be products that we sell um, and that might not be, right? Um, like you said, you know, we got, we got chicken leader out here, but um, overall we've, we've extended that window of, of when we can apply nutrients. You know, we can come in a little bit later with the side dress and not that we might do that every year. No, but it's nice to have that buffer that, you know, it happened this year and you know, typically you get into that V2, V3 stage and your corn's looking ugly. You know, it's yellow, it's puny. Mm -hmm. and, and with that program that we had this year, we did not have that. We've had the heat units, but there's other fields around the area that did go through that ugly growth stage. And they're more of that conventional program that they're not really diving into, uh, diving into their fertility program like we are. Right, right. And, you know, we're not sitting on, you know, any really heavy soils at all here. Um, this is uh, typical Southwest Michigan sand. Yeah. And, you know, three to four CEC. Uh, we, we are under pivot here and a lot of a lot of other um, fields in this area of the state. Um, which we have not ran the pivot yet. Yeah. So yeah. We've been wet and yeah, which makes sense why we've drawn out the planting season. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So. Again, guys, wanted to get you out here, see what's going on. Uh, appreciate Hunter um, getting with us and get, giving you guys a check-in from his fields. So we'll catch you later.